All right, fig growers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we're gonna be grafting fig trees. Grafting is a method of propagation that I find to be very interesting. I know, of course, there's a lot of parts maybe, and this may seem a little bit daunting to a lot of people. We have to use a sharp knife. There's a lot of tools involved, like parafilm and wax. We need a scion. We also need a rootstock. But having said that, it really is one of the most rewarding and interesting methods of propagation that you can do, grafting. Now, the fig tree is one of my favorite fruit trees to propagate, and you can propagate them so many different ways. There's rooting, there's layering, and there's so many different types of and methods of rooting and layering. Grafting is no different. There's a lot of different types of grafts that we can do. And grafting, as well as all these other methods of propagation, are just really fun. It's so much fun to see your fig tree turn into a whole nother tree. And there are many reasons for that. Well, does it produce good quality fruit? Does it produce consistently high quality fruit? Does it taste good? Any number of reasons we could be propagating a particular fig variety for. And today we're doing the cleft graft. Grafting is definitely one of my more favorite methods of propagation. It's just a lot of fun. And grafting fig trees in general, I would argue is also just a lot of fun. There's so many ways to propagate them. There's so many methods. And in my opinion, grafting is like a form of surgery that you don't have to be a surgeon for, you don't have to go to school for. All we have to do here, guys, is get ourselves good cambium contacts, watch the video obviously that I'm showing you guys. And that good cambium contact is the living part of the tree. That's what that cambium is. It's right underneath the bark. And so what I need is both of the cambiums to be touching, the rootstock cambium and the scion touching on both sides of the graft union. You can see the scion's actually on a bit of an angle, a bit of a slant because the cleft graft requires that you have similar diameters. And so if you have similar diameter wood, it makes it easier to match up the, the cambiums perfectly. But in most cases, even if they do match up quite closely or almost perfectly, I still put them on a bit of an angle, a bit of a slant. This is just guaranteeing me good contact. We're gonna use a rubber band here to make sure this graft union is tight and doesn't break while it's healing, while the graft is fusing to that rootstock. And then we're gonna use ourselves some parafilm. And this parafilm is a type of wax that's just going to essentially seal in all of this moisture. I shouldn't say a type of wax, it is wax. And so it's kind of like wrapping the graft union with a, a plastic bag in a way. If we wrap the scion with a, a plastic bag or a way to keep it from desiccating, that's critical because we need to keep this scion alive. We also need to keep the graft union alive. So the living cambium of both of the trees or the scion and the rootstock, if either one of them dies during this process, well, we're gonna have a problem. So it's that simple here, guys. Um, all we have to do is wrap this once we're done wrapping, the graft union is essentially done. Uh, what I will do next is get myself a tag here. This is a vinyl blind tag made of vinyl blinds. It's extremely durable. And all I do is write on this with a little bit of pencil. We'll write the variety here called Potenza, as you can see. And this lasts for over a year. I'll put this down here at the bottom of the pot doing a bit of a Franken fig today, grafting multiple varieties. And then we'll do a little bit of a test. And so if I hold the bottom here of the rootstock and then try to jiggle this up here, this is not going anywhere. And that to me means we have good contact, good firm contact on both sides of the graft union. And of course, this is not gonna go anywhere. So if everything works out and this bud is good here at the top that we've selected, this should continue to grow as the tree now has been pruned and uh, we're allowing the trees now to kind of regrow once they lost pretty much all this new growth. And once they start to regrow, hopefully these buds here that we've attached 
have fused together and the tree recognizes that and will start to grow these new buds. So I've got one more here left to do, guys. Thanks for watching this one. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Check out our blog, figboss.com. We'll catch you guys for more videos. Take care.